British poet Tony Harrison was born in Leeds, Yorkshire in 1937. He was educated at Leeds Grammar School and the University of Leeds where he took a BA in Classics. He has also done postgraduate work in linguistics. He has lectured at Amadou Bello University in northern Nigeria and at Charles University in Prague. At present, he is resident dramatist at the National Theatre. Tony Harrison has published five books of verse and is also well known for his adaptations of Lysistrata, Le Misanthrope, and Fed. He has received several awards for his writing, including a UNESCO Fellowship in 1969 and the Faber Memorial Award in 1972. Tony Harrison has been called one of the most accomplished technicians of his generation. He begins, says the critic, with an idea or a theme and then clothes it with his verbal imagination. His elegant and originally angled poems work primarily by wit in the Ampsonian sense and their emotional substance is conveyed by means of carefully chosen modes of tone and the form of particular lines. Tony Harrison has a new book forthcoming in October 1978 and he has completed a new English translation of The Bartered Bride on commission for the Metropolitan Opera Company. I have to explain even in England uh, the title of my book, The Loiners, because people don't know what it means. <coughs> they tell me a lot of librarians classify the zoology, but it, and they may have a point. But uh, loiners are people who were born, as I was, in uh, Leeds, uh, in the north of England. In Europe. And uh, I like to think also there's a, uh, a God-given pun in the title because many of my poems are about the way in which people act both as uh, citizens uh, and private individuals, and the way in which they receive the terrors of history in their most private experience, the most private experience is uh, sexual experience. I'm going to read a poem uh, about the end of the war in Leeds. I was eight, and we had a bonfire to celebrate uh, what I then uh, didn't quite understand, but later realized the dropping of the bomb on uh, Hiroshima. Uh, and it's a point about a man in Leeds, and all northern cities have them, maybe all cities have them. He was one of those people uh, we were told not to play with. The children were warned off because he had a sense of threat uh, about him, especially sexual threat. And he shook, his hands shook. He kept his hands in his pockets. That was all that was wrong with him. And we called him P. Joe. I think it's because we didn't know the word penis then. But we called him Peanuts Joe. And I kept the word peanuts because his peanuts in the sense of being worthless. That he wasn't, uh, he didn't fight in the war. And at the victory bonfire where the desert rats were dancing on the fire, he exposed himself and was carted off to prison and committed suicide in prison. It's called the Pocket Wars of Peanuts and Joe. And it's a sense of suddenly realizing how England had, as a were part had passed away. The Pocket there is a word, uh, glary, which you probably don't know is a North England word, meaning sticky. I don't know if wanking means anything in, uh, uh, in America. It means uh, masturbation amongst boys in the North of England. The pocket was of Peanuts Joe. 
The nuts bit really nice. They didn't guess till after he was dead. Then his sad name was banded as a dirty backstreet hess.